good morning students i hope you all are well we are doing polar coordinates or polar coordinate system as we know that a point can be located in a plane in two ways one is in cartesian form and other one is polar form we are doing polar form we have done how to locate a point in the plane in polar coordinates and how to find the distance between two points when polar coordinates are given today we will find a formula to find the area of a triangle when vertices are given in terms of polar coordinates okay so let us see to find the area of a triangle whose vertices are a r1 theta 1 b r2 theta 2 and c r t theta 2 Suppose this is the point A, R one theta one, B, R two theta two, and the point C, R T theta. Definitely, there will be a pole. and the initial line that is a fixed line so let us consider this is initial line for our big Theta. This point is O. That is O. So I join this point A with this one. So this distance is R one, and this is the angle theta one. Then. B to this, because we are using polar coordinates. So this is uh, R two, and this angle that is a theta two. And Here it is. Theta t, and this is R. This was your theta one. Okay. Now the triangle is A B. We will find the area of this one. This is B. So, to find the area of the triangle whose vertices are a r one theta one, b r two theta two, and c r three theta three, polar coordinates are given. So, how to mark this one? 
there is a pole O and this is the initial line. So we join A to O, then this distance will be R1 and this complete angle will be theta 1. Similarly, for point B and for point C. According to figure, area of triangle, see, A, O, C, then B, O, C, minus A, O, B, then this will be the area of triangle A, B, C. So, all right. Area of triangle ABC equals to this sided part. This we have to calculate. See? This one. So, right, area of triangle AOC. Look at this AOC, the upper one, the side. Area of triangle AOC. AOC. Plus area of triangle BOC minus area of triangle DOB. This subtract one. If you subtract this one, so what is area of triangle ABC? Area of triangle AOC plus area of triangle BOC minus this, then we find the area of triangle. Now, from trigonometry, you see, we use this formula. Suppose any triangle is given, for example, this triangle. And this is suppose I say it is A B C. Then this angle is given, and here it is the height. Suppose it is M. Area of triangle ABC area of this triangle equals to half this into height. And then we say it from the other side. The area of triangle ki baat hoti hai. Dilaag mein ye form na hoonta hai. Half base into height. It is 1 by 2. Base. Base means BC. And height means EF. Okay. So, just see. Now, AM we have to calculate so AM or perpendicular with respect to this angle upon AB. This side is B. This side is C and this side is A. Small like this. So AM upon AB is the angle sine B. This implies AM equals to AB sine B. And what is AB? AB is small c. It is C sine B. So what is the height? AM it is C sine B. Right here. Therefore, area is given by 1 by 2 BC. BC means a small a and the height is C sign. This is very important formula. Means if we are given included angle between two sides means A is given, C is given, then this angle B is given, then we can write the formula half AC sin B. The small letters in dono ke beach mein, in dono sides ke beach mein, angle B there account, so this formula to use for 
Similarly, you can write area equals to 1 by 2 in cycle order you can write a b missing letter is c so it is c sin c equals to 1 by 2 b c then it is sin c so remember so we will use this formula here i repeat from trigonometry we have derived this formula it is given in the previous class so area of this kind is half base into height that is bc into the height is am then bc that is small a i we can calculate this way then area is given by half ac sin b the missing letter will be the angle you can see half ab then missing letter is c so it is sin c bc then missing letter is a so it is sin a now look at this kind that is a O C A O C. So this R1 is given, R3 is given. Now this angle, this one. Up to this it is theta 3 and up to this it is theta 1. Here it is theta 1, then it is theta 3. So this remaining angle will be theta 1 minus theta 3. I write here it is theta 1 minus theta 3. Look at this. Similarly, up to this, this angle, this yellow one, it is theta 2, here it is theta 3, so this angle. This is theta 3 minus theta 2. Theta 3 minus theta 2. Okay, so we have all the things. equals now area of triangle AOC so it is 1 by 2 AOC so this side is R1 this side is R3 so it is R1 into R3 sign angle between these two yeah angle theta 1 minus theta 3 this formula the diameter sign theta 1 minus theta 3 plus 1 by 2 into theta 1 area of triangle BOC B O C. So one side is this one. This one. This is R3. This is R2. So it is R2 R3 sine. Theta 3 minus theta 2. Theta 3 minus theta 2. Minus 1 by 2. Area of triangle A O B. A O B. Side is R1. Other side is R2. This is R1. This is R2. So, this is the other one. We can do this to that And this is the right one. This is the right one. This is the right This is theta 1 minus theta 2. Which one? This one. This one. You can see. This is for triangle A O B. This is theta 1 minus theta 2. Okay. Now we simplify this. See, 1 by 2 is common. R3, R1. Sign. Theta 1 minus theta 3. Plus 1 by 2. R2, R3. Sign. Theta 3 minus theta 2. Now I interchange these two. So minus and this minus will be plus. It's plus 1 by 2. R1, R2. Sin theta 2 minus theta 1. So we can remember it. Therefore, 
the area of triangle ABC equals 1 by 2. Uh, we can remember it in cyclic order. Okay, so I write how to write this Write R1, R2, then sign, interchange these two. So it is theta 2 minus theta 1. We want to do it now. And plus R2, R3, sign, interchange these two. So it is theta 3 minus theta 2. Plus then R3, R1, then sign, theta 1 minus theta 2. This is the area of triangle. So this way, we can derive the area of triangle when vertices are given in polar coordinates. Okay, so this is the formula we have to remember this. Vertices R1. Comma theta 1, R2, comma theta 2, R3, comma theta 3, just like Cartesian mein, x1, y1, x2, y2, or x3, y3. This is the same polar coordinates mein, R1, theta 1, R2, theta 2, or R3, theta theta. Formula will go as 1 by 2, R1, R2 ka product, or angle ka jo difference hai, also reverse ka ke likhna ka ke aapko yaad ho hai. R1, R2, sin theta 2, minus theta 1, plus Cycle coordinate chalo, R2, R3, then T minus 2, so this is theta T minus theta 2. Then plus R3, R1, then sin theta 1 minus theta T. Now we do one more article. We have done distance formula. We have done how to find the area of triangle. Now, we derive the equation of line in polar form. Okay. Polar equation of line. On and right. Equation of a line. In polar coordinates system. To find the equation of line, we must have two conditions at least if Cartesian system if you remember you know y equals to mx plus c y minus y1 equals to m times x minus x1 Excellent. Here, m is given slope into certain y-axis. Then you can write the equation of line. We have derived this one. In this one, one point is given. That means x1, y1 is given on the line and its slope is given. What about in polar equation? In polar equation, the whole this is the line, for example. We want to find the equation of this line. This is the equation of line. So definitely in the plane there exists pole and it is a line. Suppose this is pole, this is the pole group. And this is in the line. What is given? The line is at a distance of P, perpendicular distance from the pole. So this length is P. This is given to us. A given is the length. And this length of perpendicular makes an angle alpha. 
with the feelings in that. This angle is given. Here we are given two things slope is given and angle surface given. Here we are also given two things that is slope is given and much point is given. Here the line is at a distance of P unit from the pole and this length of perpendicular makes an angle of alpha with this line. If the line is the pole say is distance per head or ye alpha into banati that you see position fix head. The line move in that. Suppose this point is n. How many points are lying on this? Infinite number. So any general point, if it is Cartesian system, we write x comma y. It's the polar coordinate system. So we write this point P is r comma. So we want to find the relation in r, theta, p, and l. In Cartesian system, we find the relation in x, y, and two given things that is m and c. In this one, x, y, and two given things x1, y1, and m that is the slope. In a similar way, which finds. We join this and this one. This is r, and this angle is theta. This is theta. If this is theta, then this will be. Theta minus alpha. It is this. Okay. Now this is simple. N right triangle. This is ninety degrees. So O and P. We have. O n base upon hypotenuse that is O p equals to cos base upon hypotenuse. Adhar patak tal cos of this angle here here. It is triangle ki baat ho rahi hai. This is theta minus alpha. So right theta minus alpha. So this implies what is O n? O n is p. Op, op is r. It is p equals to r cos theta minus alpha. This is the equation of line. Very important. So in polar coordinate system, we will use only one form. That is the equation of line is p equals to r cos theta minus alpha. It is this. Remember. What is p? Length of perpendicular drawn from the pole to the line, or the line is at a distance of p unit from the pole. What is alpha? The length of perpendicular that is p makes an angle alpha with the initial line. Okay, so it's that type of situation. One note. P equals to R cos theta one alpha. This is R cos theta cos alpha plus sine theta sine alpha. This is R cos theta into cos alpha plus R sine theta into sine alpha. And remember, this is x. That is x cos alpha plus y sin alpha. This is p. क्या किया मैंने? Polar equation को इसमें change कर दिया. Cartesian form में और ये आपने class eleventh में पढ़ रखा है. इसका नाम होता है normal form या perpendicular form. Remember, this is perpendicular. Of the equation of the line, but it is in Cartesian form. Okay, so that is that.
one particular point what does theta equals to 5 by 4 represent so much Or what is the locus of theta equals to five by four? Theta equals five by four. Polar coordinates system. So, only theta is given, r is not given, means r is of any length. And if you remember, the point of position I have told you, then I have said that first of all, theta is made. After that, I have to measure r's length. Now, if there is no length of r's length, इसका मतलब इनफाइनाइट अपसाइड एंड डाउनसाइड सो लुक एट दिस इनिशियल लाइन दिस इज अ पोल पोल थीटा पाई बाय 4 मींस इट इज लेंथ इज नॉट गिवन सो इट इज इन द बैक आल्सो इदर वे और इदर so R is not given means R may be any, may be positive, may be negative. So here it is. So what is the locus of this? Locus is this because you can find by this point, this one, this one, this one. So this point is moving on this, and this line makes an angle of theta equals to pi by four. So locus is a line. Now we convert it into Cartesian coordinates, then you will see what will happen. Theta equals to pi by 4, alternately, theta equals to pi by 4 implies tan theta equals to tan pi by 4, that is, or pi on x equals to 1, that means x equals to y. Means x minus y is zero. This one, Cartesian form, and definitely it is this line. Mark here on the y-axis. This is y equals to x minus. So theta equals to pi by four is not simply an angle. What is the locus of theta equals to pi by 4 in polar coordinate system? This is a line passing through the pole, making this particular angle. And in Cartesian form, it is nothing. It is y equals to x or x minus y equals to 0. And it passes through the origin. Ask a little about it. Kal hum next article kare. Thank you. Thank you very much. If you have difficulties, you will have to कमेंट्स जरूर कमेंट्स बॉक्स में लिखिएगा थैंक यू जय हिंद